Okay, folks, what you're looking at here is the uh, steps that I set up to where you can have access to the uh, basement here on Indiana Street. Uh, I know it looks like a deep, dark hole right now, but it's not bad. I went ahead and painted everything down underneath, and uh, I've already showed how the hatchway opens up automatically. We'll go on down underneath, I'll show you. These are uh, tight steps because um, of the layout uh, for the existing steps at the bottom. I know it's getting darker and darker, but I wanted to show up here in the ceiling. You'll see that glowing light. That's the actual switch for the basement lights. Turn that on and we'll proceed into the basement. This is a walkway from the steps into the main part of the basement, uh, walking towards, of course, the water heater. I painted everything gray down here and the floors and walls and to make it fresher looking. You're looking at the sump pump and the furnace. Everything is up on blocks because when I first bought the house 10 years ago, it did actually have sanding water in it. And that's because the city sewer backing up. So now we have a plug in the floor drain to eliminate that. And then the sump pump itself can take out any uh, seepage that comes in. And it does seep a little bit. Uh, you're looking at the electrical panel here. I put a new 100 amp service in. There's new meter box and weatherhead and everything out to the alleyway. Um, and all new wiring, most all new wiring in the house. That was done in 05. I'll go ahead and pan over here. This is a small area in the basement underneath the middle part of the house and then you're looking into an open crawl space there. Um, but uh, it's got plenty of room down here to put some storage shelves, whoever buys the house. And I did want to mention that the furnace was all put in and air conditioning brand new in 05. Uh, a nice remodel job. Uh, the water heater is actually a little bit newer. Uh, original one went out. I think I replaced this one in 2011, I believe. And here's another hatch that you can open to go into the remainder of the crawl space that goes underneath the living room. Yeah, I know it looks like a dark, horrible place, but it's some place that I spent a lot of hours in putting in a lot of new stuff. So we'll turn back towards the walkway that I came down. This is where I came in the main part of the basement. Uh, there's a shelf here for storage. That same crawl space behind the furnace. There's plenty of room for storage here. Going back to the steps. Underneath this back small bedroom there's another large area of crawl space that can be used for storage. And I mentioned before I did go ahead and paint everything a nice gray color and the floors are all been painted. So it's turned out pretty nice. It'll be uh, accessible for the new owner to be able to get down here and store some stuff down in the basement. Okay, well that's where we're at now. I'll uh, let you know if I come up with anything else. Have a good day.